Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson. This is a TOEIC extravaganza where we are going to look at a question that many people get wrong and it surprises me, but we're gonna find out why and how to fix this problem. All right, let's get started. Here is the question. Pause your screen if you need time. All right, so this question did give people much more difficulty than I had thought. So I think it would be best to go over this together. So first, like I always say, do not stop at the blank. Read the whole sentence for context and overall idea. Okay, so when we read this, the basic idea is there was an election. Right now, the public does not have the results. The public does not know the winner of the election. Okay, so we have that idea. So now let's start eliminating answers. First, let's eliminate D, required. If you use require, you need an object. That means you need subject requires object. And you could always say humans require water to survive. Now in passive verb, water is required to survive. That's passive. Let's look at another example. The law requires, and you can require that subject verb, the law requires that someone release the election results. We need an object here. We don't have an object here, so let's eliminate D. Next, let's eliminate C, bin. Let's look at this question logically. First of all, in this situation, there would be no reason to use to. For example, if we use simple past, someone released the results of the election. The results of the election were released. That is simple past. Someone has released the results of the election. The results of the election have been released. This is present perfect passive. So here, we wouldn't need to add a two to this. There's no reason. If we had been, we wouldn't have two. We would just say the results of the election have been released to the public because somebody has released it to the public. So two is unnecessary. Okay, so now we have two options left. Let's go right to the answer. The answer here is yet. Now, one meaning of yet is when we use it in present perfect at the end. This tells us something hasn't happened, but we think it will happen in the future. For example, I haven't seen the movie yet. The yet tells the listener or the reader, I think this will happen in the future. Now, another way to say I haven't verbed yet, and this is fancy, is I have yet to verb, or he has yet to verb. For example, if I said the results haven't, be the results haven't been released yet, the results have yet to be released. So if we look at this question, if I'm using this form, subject has yet to verb, well, I can do it here. The results of the election haven't been released yet. The results of the election have yet to be released. Let's give one more example of yet to. If I say, dinner hasn't been made yet. Another way to say this, dinner has yet to be made. Now, this form is used in present perfect about 95% of the time. So, as we see, the answer is A. Well, hopefully you learned something. Please share, subscribe, like, question, comment, do all those amazing things, and I'll talk to you soon.